wake ourselves. Right. As we look at the alarm clock, baby. Right. As we look at our spouses mm -hmm. and our children and grandchildren, they didn't wake us up this morning. That's right. All right. But the one on high that sits high and with him and looks low. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's the one that brought us down through the years. Yes, sir. Yeah. Allowed us to come before you today. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes. Kneel as he gave us a tongue. Talk. Mm -hmm. right. The eyes to see, that's right. the ears to hear. Yes, sir. Yeah. We able to do this thing because of our goodness of the God. Yes, uh -huh. sir. The grace of Him and the mercy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Father, we ask for a special blessing for our pastor. Yes, sir. Yes. Guide him to direct his path, my Father. Oh, yes. Or lift him up with wisdom, my Father. Yes, sir. Yes. Help your angels around. <coughs> Come on. Yes, Lord, sir. bless him in a mighty way. Yes. But Father, I ask that you bless all the ones that make up this congregation. Uh -huh. yes. Father, touch him with the finger of your love. Yes, sir. Father, guide us and allow us to stay on the straight path. Yes. Father, guide us and lead us in the right direction. Yes. yes. Father, touch our heart that we love our neighbor yes. as ourselves. Yes. Father, touch me. Yes. Father, allow me to pray your prayer. Yes. Yes. Father, take all jealousy away from my heart. Yes. Uh -huh. Father, I ask that you give me a spirit to love yes. one another. Uh -huh. yes, as you have first loved me. That's right. Yes. Father, allow us to go down on our bended knees. My Father, and call yeah, ready your yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Father, send it on down. Come yeah. on. Father, allow us to be able to receive it in yes, our hearts. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Father, as we pray for all churches, my Father. Oh, yes. Yes. Pray for all neighbors, mm -hmm. yes. all countries, mm -hmm. all preachers, all ministers, all. Yes. You know, because yes. he's all. You yes, can sir. do anything with faith. Yes, yes sir. sir. Father, we ask that you touch the one that is bound in jail. Be a mother and be a yes. father. That's right. Father. right. Oh, Father, touch the one that is bereaved, bereaved, my Father. Uh -huh. oh, yes. Father, touch their heart, my Father. Touch the thing of your love. Yes. Father, we ask that you touch the one that is sick and on their bed. Father, give them strength, my Father. Yes. yes sir. Go on and run and see what the rain is. Father, come. You have prepared a place for it. You died on Calvary. Mm -hmm. Father, you allowed Jesus to stay. But he rose on the third day. That's yes. right. With all the power. Oh, my. Yes. yes, sir. We give you all the honor and we give you all the praise because you were worthy to be praised. Yes, sir. And as we come into agreement, my Father, we all come to serve together and say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Please, <coughs>
We also would like to take the opportunity once again to welcome everyone to our morning service. Thank you, Lord. We're going to finish the part of the service and the report. world 
against spiritual wickedness in high places. Stand therefore, having your lions girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shall the preparation of the gospel of peace. Amen. God's word God's for God's people. Receive the word of God unto yourselves. We're going to ask the officers and ushers to please come. All to you. Uh -huh. 
Father, we ask that you bless those who are sick. There are so many in our congregation, Lord, who've been ill, Father, but you, we know that you are a healing God. We know, Lord, that you're going to touch and raise them up. Lord God, not only in our church, but all over in this state, this community, there are so many sick people, Lord God, we ask that you touch them, Lord, and heal them. Father, touch the ministers. Yeah. Touch all the deacons, Lord God, all the ministries throughout these congregations. Lord, let us know that we have to look up to you. Yeah. Lord, we just thank you right now. Yeah. Father, we thank you for the man of God that you have here in this congregation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Father, we ask that you bless him. Yeah. Use him, Lord, in a mighty way. Mm -hmm. Bless his family, Lord God. Yes, Lord. We pray, Father, that we know that if we study your word, you, that we will know these things will happen in our lives, Amen. but we know that you will allow us to keep the faith yes. if we only believe. Yes. Father, we just thank you right thank now, Lord God. Yes. We ask that you bless everybody here. Yes. Bless all of those who are just standing and waiting to receive you, Jesus. Yes. Let them come with open arms, trusting and giving all to you. Father, we ask that you continue to bless us as we give. Bless those who have a desire and had it not. Father, we know that you will give the increase. Yeah. For it is all in Jesus' name that I pray. Forever and ever. Amen. 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 When in the valley one day to pray, my soul got so happy.
to be held on March 8, 2015 at 2 o'clock p.m. So please keep that in mind. Amen. We have to this task. Amen. At the Missionary Baptist Church in Spring, Alabama, where Reverend Adrian Taylor is the pastor. <clears throat> Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, you caution and invite to our annual Deacon and Deaconess Day, and this will be on Sunday, March 8, 2015, and that will be 2 o'clock p.m. Reverend Taylor is the pastor. Sweet Pilgrim Missionary about the Church in Spring, Alabama. Uh, dear Christian friends, Sweet Pilgrim about the Church calls to invite you to have an annual Deacon and Deacon and Wise program. And this will be on Sunday, March 15, at two th March 15, 2015, at 2 o'clock p.m. And of course, try to keep that in mind. Shadow Missionary Baptist Church right here in Tuskegee, and that's on Highway 29. They're having what we call an um, annual youth revival, where George Wilson is the pastor. This will start March 16, 17, and 18, 2015, 7 o'clock night. And of course, it's sponsored by the youth department, and Macedonia Youth Department is invited on Tuesday night. On Tuesday night, Saturday night, March 17, 2015, at 7 o'clock night. Reverend Wilson is the pastor. Um, we are having our business meeting, which will be Wednesday, March 11, 2015, at 6 o'clock p.m. Of course, it's from out of town. So keep that in mind. Today, we're having our ushers and verse, I believe, at 2 o'clock p.m. Mm -hmm. Those are the announcements that I have for. Do we have any others? We may do so now. Otherwise, if we have a visitors that would like to be recognized, would you please stand up and do so at this point? While well, I pass to welcome you, Reverend Hurd. Amen. There's a better announcement than mine held myself accordingly. Amen. It's good to be here, ain't it right? Amen. 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 Let's on next Sunday, the first Sunday, uh, I think the media team and the past day team is going to uh, sponsor on singing uh, next Sunday uh, evening. So if you're not doing anything next Sunday evening, come on back out of here so we'll sing um, uh, from I think the gospel volunteers are uh, yours truly. Uh, I think uh, the mayor, of course. And uh, so, if you're not doing anything this Sunday, just, just come on back on and, and I believe at 2 o'clock when I'm mistaken. Amen. So, this Sunday is sponsored by the media team and by the um, pastor. Amen. So, um, also, let us not forget, as it was stated earlier today uh, at 2 o'clock. Our worship anniversary. Amen. Amen. So they'll support our worship. Amen. Amen. I think, I do believe that we are together on our captains uh, for the church anniversary and for the 12th. Um, not, so, not quite. No, sir. I just didn't mention it. I'm letting, letting that ears rest just a little bit. <laughs> but I'm coming back forth again the next Sunday that we meet. And of course, to remind you that I still need three captains, and hopefully that you will find your life to step up and tell me you're just willing, you're willing. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 So we we looking for it. So God, step on up. This is this is something that I'm uh, we're doing. This is for Macedonia. Ain't it right? Amen. Amen. We're grateful. And we're excited about Pastor Manuel and the greater Friendship Baptist Church family um, coming this evening. Amen. We are excited. Also, on last Sunday, you looked good. Amen. On last Sunday. Amen. Amen. Uh, what we say? Um, um, back in the day, they old fashioned day. Amen. And um, those that have access to the computer, we recorded the service. Um, and that uh, means. It got down last Sunday. You know what I mean? It's ain't last Sunday. 
Amen. Amen. I got a lot of phone calls on Deacon Pace. Amen. Yeah. yeah. You know, he don't got world famous now since he's been on Facebook and in the game. You know, he's standing there looking like he about to jump on somebody. You know? <laughs> he had a mic in the hand like this right here, he looking all mean and serious. I said, Lord, look at Deacon Pace. Well, that, well, I got a phone call. I said, who that little man is up there? I said, that Deacon Pace. So that man be signing down. He be getting down. He be mean. I said, yeah. I said, the name of the choir, Deacon Al Pace and uh, the Master's on your mail choir. Amen. Yeah, amen. <laughs> amen. So we had a good time. So I just want to let you know that he did a good job. He sounded good. Uh, we got an opportunity to visit uh, Sister Pace, and she, in good spirit, I got a chance to visit her and I got a chance to also talk to her on the phone and, and she was excited to talk, I tell you. And uh, so we, uh, she's talking and, and, and she's in good spirit and uh, she happy, amen, uh, to be out of ICU, yeah. amen, amen. amen. So I tell you, prayer changes ain't the right. Amen. So keep it in prayer. Sister Mappy, she is um, just come home. She's been ill, uh, dealing with that asthma. They had to rush her to the hospital Saturday night. I got a phone call. And so please keep her in prayer as well. Um, other complications has come up, and she's not able to talk. Uh, she has lost her voice. I understand what her daughter told me. So please keep her in prayer as well. Amen. Amen. I tell you, ask for him. And then he plus, you know, being a diabetic and all the other stuff you have coming along with it. Amen. It's, it's some serious, y'all. Amen. But keep all our sins shut in prayer. Ain't all right? Amen. Amen. At this time now, we get ready to prepare ourselves for our tithes and our offerings.
that all right? Amen. Amen. We're going to have some quiet when we come down, please. Amen. Send it on down. Lord, let your Holy Ghost come on down. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. You know what I mean? Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Because it had not been for the Lord on our side. Tell us where will we be. Amen. Amen. Is that all right? Uh, 
there are three words I want to put emphasis on. Uh, yea, do I walk? I want to talk about the conjunction, preposition, and pronoun. Did you hear me? Let me hear you say conjunction, preposition, and pronoun. There are three words I want to put emphasis on. Yea, though I walk is a conjunction. I walk through, which is a preposition, but thou, which is a pronoun. This conjunction. This preposition, this pronoun, I am serious about the word. I don't take the word lightly because God is no play God. Can you hear me? There are several ways of approaching any text in the Bible that the witches call tropical or topical teaching. Topical teaching is when you think of an idea. Huh? You like and you go to the scripture and find a text to match the subject. Because many times we approach the text we don't come empty handed. Can you hear witness? Uh, we bring baggage to the text. Uh, we come to the text which our own preconceived ideas. Things we pick up from other folks. Can you hear with us? Uh, we heard from songs. Song we get from the unbiblical literature. We bring baggage the text. Can you hear yes. Our culture is sitting in when we read the Bible. Our culture plays a great role what we see when we read. A white American can see the same passage uh -huh, what we see. But we see uh -huh, something totally Different. All right. They sing a song when the road is called of yonder. I'll be there. Oh, y'all don't hear me here. Black folks sing the same song. Don't call the road. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Until I get there. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. So, my brothers and sisters, we have to be careful. We'll Topical teaching. Texture teaching is a wonderful technique. Mm -hmm. What you see right before you. But even at texture teaching, you can error because the Bible was written in Hebrew and Greek uh -huh, right. language. Can you hear this? And it was changed through the King James Moore language. In Hebrew and Greek, there are 12,000 words in the Bible. In our English language, the Gospels, there are only 6,000 words, meaning that when it was translated from the original Hebrew and Greek language, they had to duplicate some words to put 12,000 to 6,000. Am I hearing anybody this morning? Which means you will have to see some words spelled the same way, uh huh, but have different meanings. Matthew 28 and 18, and Jesus came and spoke. Unto them saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Yes. Meaning, in other words, is 
He spoke with authority. Yes, sir. Acts 1 and 8 said, You shall receive power. Huh? Spell out uh, the way, but notice the Greek word. Uh huh. Is Domius. And Domius means that the word when he said you shall receive power, in other words, meaning dynamite. All right. I wish I had a witness in here. But you see, there is a passage in the Bible, all three of the gospel writers, is when Mary came to Jesus. And when she washed Jesus' feet with her tears and wiped them away with her hair, it looked like from uh -huh, the tension point that Mary just showed up and saw. It. Huh? Yes. And had no tears to wash Jesus' feet. But when you look at it from the culture standpoint, huh? You know, in that day, they carried tear bottles. I wish I had a witness in here. They, every time they would cry, they would catch a tear. Got a witness? When they were broken hearted, they would catch broken hearted tears. Mary tear bottle filled up, and when her tear bottle filled up, she found Jesus. And when she found Jesus, she poured I wish I had a witness in here. All of her problems at the feet of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. We also, my brothers and sisters, of us have problems. Uh -huh. We must come to him. Got your witness? Amen. If you've got a problem, you need to take it to King Jesus. Oh, yes. If you're going through some things, you need to take it to King Jesus. Yes. If, you, if, you, if you, you feel like you can't make it, take it to King Jesus. Yes. Yes. Some of us want to mess with the problem. Oh, Lord. But I'm going to tell you, Jesus is the problem. So, yes, we also must watch the conjunction of the text. The conjunction of the text is like a uh -huh, cement of a brick wall. When we watch the bricks, we pay attention to uh -huh, the bricks, but don't pay attention to the cement. All right, all right. Got me, man. Got me. Yeah, but, but it's the cement between uh -huh, the walls that keep the bricks in all. Can you witness? It is the conjunction of the text that keep the sins flowing in all. Mm -hmm. And there are different kinds of conjunction that which is called contrast conjunction. Right. I wish I had a witness in yes. here. Yeah. Which means the sins, uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wrong, wrong. Uh huh. In a way, but when you get the conjunction, it will send them in one way. But guess what? The Holy Ghost will send them out another way. Can I hear this? Yes. Let's watch this here. Watch this. In other words, here is, for instance, Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death. Y'all yes. see that? Yes. But the gift of God uh -huh, is eternal life yes. through Jesus Christ our Lord. And see you uh -huh, another way. Mm -hmm. You do remember Jonah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jonah, uh -huh, verses one through four. Uh -huh. But, but notice it. Notice it. Jonah, Jonah. Notice, notice. Jonah. He went down. Hmm? To the ship. Uh -huh. Yes. God told him to go one way. Yeah. Yes, he did. But he went. Another way. Uh -huh. I don't hear me. Uh -huh. But notice this though. God is a God of another but. <laughs> oh, y'all don't hear me here. Right, right. When you figure you're going to go this way, he'll send you. Okay. My, my, my. Yeah. And it is a conjunction, my brothers and sisters. It is 
the connecting conjunction is connected to what had just happened and was getting ready to happen. Right. Huh? Right. For instance, John 14 and 16. Turn to John 14 and 16. John 14 and 16. John 14 and 16. Someone read John 14 and 16. John 14, 16. And I will pray to Father mm -hmm. and give you another comfort mm -hmm. that he may abide with you forever. Now notice what he said. Do y'all see that? Yes. I want everybody to be right there with him. Read it one more time. And I will pray to Father uh -huh. and he shall give you another comfort another that he comfort. may abide with you forever. Mm. Y'all see that? Yes, ma'am. Now, all three of God's heads is in John 14 and 16. Mm -hmm. Huh? Notice when he said, and I. Huh? Yeah. That's the sum. Pray the Father. That's the Father. Uh -huh. Y'all see that? Yes. And shall send another comforter. That's the Holy Ghost. Yes. Right. So somebody catch that. Uh -huh. Let me say it again. Notice he said, and I. That's the what? Son. Come on, say son. Uh -huh. Pray the Father. Say that's the Father. And shall send a comforter, say that's the Holy Ghost. It is the Son who prays the Father, to whom he prays the Holy Ghost, to whom he prays. Listen, you can have all three. <laughs> but there is a conjunction connected there. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, the conjunction connected promise with the principle most likely to ride on the promises of God. But we tried to, uh -huh, to validate uh -huh, the principle. If you don't apply the principle, uh -huh, you will not experience the promise. Can I get a witness? And the principle is in verse 15. Read verse 15, now. Same book. If you love me, if you love me, keep my commandments. Come on here. If you love me, that's what he said again. Now, if you abide by verse 15, do you have a problem with verse 16? Read 16 again. Come on, man. And I will pray to Father. And I will pray to Father. And he shall give you another comfort. He will shall give you who? Another comfort. Another comfort. Right. Oh, y'all don't get me in here. I, I, I hope you listen listening to me. Amen. Right. It is a conjunction. It is the conditioning conjunction, which means how you respond. Matter of fact, read John 14, 14. If you should ask anything in my name. Uh-huh. Come on, read. All right. If you should ask anything in my name, uh -huh. I will do it. I will do it. Yeah. He said, if you should ask anything, not some things. Uh, Y'all get help this morning. Y'all come on and talk to me this morning. He said, if you should ask anything. Huh? Yeah. He said, in my name, I would do it. Yeah. I like it because when he asks a prayer, he approaches it from anything else. Because sometimes when God gets ready to bless us, he sends folks uh -huh, to bless us. Can I get a witness? When we when, when, uh -huh, when he got ready to bless Israel, he sent Abraham. When he got ready to uh, leave Israel, he sent Moses. Oh, y'all don't hear me here. When he got ready to march Israel, he sent Joshua. Yes. When he wanted to fight over Israel, he sent Samson. Right. I wish I had a witness here. When he wanted wisdom, uh -huh, he sent Solomon. Right. When he wanted, uh-huh, yes, sir, when he wanted a singer, he sent David. Yes. Oh, 
come on, talk to me here. When he wanted patience, he sent Job. Right. When he wanted a vision, he sent Isaiah. Yes. When he wanted a weeper, he sent Jeremiah. Yes. When he wanted a prayer, he sent John. Right. But when he get ready to answer your prayer, he'll come personally. So I, they said we can make it do for a night. Huh? But joy comes in the morning. Yes, my brothers and sisters. He'll show up himself. Then will I do, John 13, and whatsoever you shall ask in. My name. That will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. Notice, therefore, the word therefore, say therefore, is a conjunction. And whenever you see the word therefore, when you back up a little, and when you uh -huh, move forward, now you back somebody, all it is saying, therefore. Y'all no, missed it. Yeah, y'all missed it. I said when you back up a little, it will tell you what it's there for. Yes. Somebody still didn't catch that. I said when you back up a little, it will tell you there for. Huh? Watch this. Let, let, let's look. Watch, watch this. Watch this. Psalms 23. Four. Watch this. The Psalms is saying the Lord can be your shepherd. Huh? You can be grazing in the green pasture. All right. Come on, listen. All right. You can be positioned by the steel wall. You can be, uh huh. So good until your soul is already restored. You can ask and he'll lead it. You in the path of righteousness. And guess what? And still encounter valleys. Oh, y'all hear me here. Too many times we think we are excluded from valleys. But I can tell you, there is a valley somewhere with your name on it. And whenever a valley show up, you have several choices. You can act like it doesn't exist, or you can say, I'm not going to claim it, but if there's you, uh-huh, oh, y'all give me now. You might as well go and claim it. Because number one, Cause if you're in the valley, you just in the valley. Can I get a witness? Yes. Jesus, uh -huh, excuse me, notice here, Jesus, when we in our valley, Jesus will show up in the valley. Uh -huh. But in order for him to show up in the valley, we got to call the name of Jesus. What you mean, Pastor Harry? Well, let me tell you. Revelation says, though I stand at the door and knock, and if any man will open up the door, he said, I'll come in. In other words, I'm not going to force my way in. If you want me to help you, if you want me to lead you, if you want me to guide you, if you need me, all you have to do is call on my name. But if you don't call on my name, how can I help you get through your the reality of the valley because the valley they are all by the Lord yes. Psalms 37 23 said the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord yes. watch this I want you to pay very close attention to this the Lord he selects our valleys Right. Huh? He measures our values. Right. I like this. Yes. 
and also control mm -hmm. our values. Yes. There's something you will never learn in life until you get in your value. Amen. Number one, your value will show up. Uh huh. Your friends. Yeah. I'll answer now. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. You got all these little folks. Talking about you, my pal, you, my buddy, you, my friend. Huh? But they haven't seen your valley yet. Come on here, somebody. Valley will help you to know who you are. Can I get a witness? Because sometimes we don't know our own selves. Okay. Can I get a witness? Yes. It's not good to say what I ain't going to never do. Amen, somebody. Because times you say what you ain't going to never do. Amen. God will piss that thing before you know it. That's why I tell folks don't never say the word never. Because never have a way of finding you out and showing you. Can I get a witness? That is. Uh-huh. We'll send you to church. Can you hear this? That is. We'll have you on your knees. Huh? That is. We'll have you reading your Bible two or three o'clock in the morning. Can you hear this? That is. Oh, y'all don't hear me here. Right. They ain't nothing like 
favor. Can you witness? Because I'm here to tell you. Watch this. Watch this here. They will say, uh-huh, I woke up this morning with Jesus on my mind. That's favor, honey. Can you witness? In spite of what I'm going through, I'm going to serve him until the day I die. Can you witness? In spite of that situation, amen. They got a made up mind. I may be in the storm right now. I'm going to ride it out. Oh, y'all don't hear me here. Because I got flavor. Can you witness? God selects some people he can trust with trouble. He can't trust everybody with trouble. Huh? Some of you have friends, uh -huh, have gone through some stuff. And they can't handle their broad their brains. But all they can say is say, then I stay there, y'all. Go and say it. Yet we lie. Trust me. Except the reality of the valley. Since I've been there, there are three things you must do. Mm -hmm. Notice it, brother. Look at it. Go back to the 23rd Psalm if you ain't already there. I want you to look at some. There are three things. Three, three things. We're going to leave this one close out. There are three things that I want you to do. There are three, three things. Say three. Three. Say, say three. Three. And you go. Come on, talk to me. Watch this. You, are you dead yet? Yeah. You back on the 23rd? Yeah. Go back to verse 4. There are three things in verse 4. Not verse 5, but verse 4. Not verse 3, but verse 4. There are three things. Number one is, number one, he said, number, number one says walk. Let me hear you say walk. Walk. Hmm? Y'all see that? Yes. Notice walk. Now, some people prefer to run. But let me, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I said some prefer to run. They want to run through it and get over it soon as they can. Huh? But the Lord said, no, nah, no, nah. when you go, uh huh, you got to walk. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me here. Uh -uh. But watch this here. See, when you run, you make mistakes. Can you with us? Come on here, somebody. When, when you run, you'll fall down fast. Right. Oh, y'all don't hear me here. Right. But he said, walk. Y'all see that? Yeah. When you walk, you can see more. Can you with us? Yeah. Anytime God put you in the valley, he want you to see something. Stop it. And when he, what he wants you to see, you heard all song, I can see clearly now. Yeah. Since the rain is gone. In other words, yeah, I can see clearly when I'm walking in my valley. I can see some folk that I hold with my friends. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Yeah. I can see some stuff going in my house that I couldn't see. I can start sitting with my children acting up. But Pope Tim, I can hear. He would show you some stuff. But you gotta walk. Watch this, watch this. What do you mean? He wants you to see something. Some of us take, uh huh, because it's a long time. To see it. Some people can see it when they get in the battles. Some can see it in 11 years. By walking, I'm not standing uh -huh, still. Walking me and I'm moving forward. Maybe some, but I'm still moving. Oh, y'all hear me here. Walking also means I'm going somewhere. Huh? Mm -hmm. Walking also me. I'm leaving some folks behind. Mm -hmm. Everybody start out with her. Mm -hmm. No longer walk with her. Come on. Mm -hmm. Everybody start out with you. No longer walk with you. Right. Huh? Yes. No, listen, listen, don't let nobody park uh -huh, your mind. Mm -hmm. And if they ain't paying your rent. Said, don't let nobody park P A R K your mind if they ain't paying your rent. Right. I'm gonna say it again. That, that, that's a new word for today. Uh huh. Don't let nobody park a new phrase your mind if they ain't paying your rent, if they ain't paying your light bill, if they ain't paying your gas bill, if they ain't put food on your table, if they ain't put gas in your car, if they ain't put uh -huh, pay your car. What you need to do? Mm -hmm. 
So you know what? <laughs> As of the day, I'm giving you an official notice. And say so you can't park here anymore. Come on here, somebody. I'm going to walk. Uh huh. Things don't look good, but I'm going to walk. Make it sick, but I still got to walk. Make it hard, but I still got to walk. May shed some tears, but I gotta walk. Yes. Doctor may say it don't look good, but I gotta walk. Yes. I'm gonna serve him until the day I die. Yes. Second, yes. second, second thing. I told you the first one. What was the first one? Anybody remember the first one? Huh? First of all, walk. The second one is fear. Say fear. fear. Say fear. fear. Come on, say it like you mean it. Fear. fear. I'm not going to fear. For fear messes you up. Fear cancel vision. Pace. Fear makes you turn in your resume. We all hear me here. It's a period in 
in your life. But notice, I'm the succumb. In other words, here, don't put a period there. Put a comma there. Right, right. God's still working on me. Yes. That was common in other words, it's a Amen. Amen. Don't, don't, don't stop there. Amen. Just put a comma there. Is that anybody in here ever felt like giving up? You ain't got to tell it. Just go here and bat your eyes. That sometimes I feel like going in my top. Throwing up my hand and say, you can have it. But the karma come in. It said, you said you were on the battlefield for me. And every time I said, Lord, the other time I said, Lord, I ain't going to preach no more. And every time I get discouraged, I'll say something unorthodox. All right, all right. And every time I say something unorthodox, God will open up a door. Oh, yes, he will. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes, he will. Every time I would say, you know what, I'm tired, I ain't, and I'm through, Lord, I'm through, I'm through, Lord, just, he come back and open up another door. All right. All right. We want to receive the blessing, but we don't want to go through the lesson. Right. Have mercy. In other words, it is, we all in here going to have some trials yes. and some tribulations. Yes. It's good to be blessed. Yes. Am I right? Yes. It's good to have a testimony. Yes. And some of us in can testify. And some of us in here have a testimony. Yes. And some of us in here are not ashamed of our testimony. Yes. Because guess what? God brought you out. Yes. And just by your testimony, amen, somebody, you can help somebody that's going through a struggle. See, see, I thought like this, everybody ain't going to tell what they're going through. But if you just speak some encouraging words to somebody and let them know that everything is going to be all right, that can you just might have saved that person. Amen, somebody. Because all of us in here can't stand pressure. But all of us in here all can stand some little encouraging words sometimes. Conjunction mean I'm praising my God. Huh? Excuse me, common means I'm praising my God. Say come. How many know he's able? Huh? Let me hear you say he's able. He's able. Come on, come on, see what's a feeling. He's able. He's able. Huh? He's able. He's able. Do, do you believe he's able? Yes. Huh? Let me see what your hand is. Do you believe he's able? Yes. Let me see clap your hand in. Do you believe he's able? Huh? Ain't he alright? I said, ain't he alright? He's able to do anything but fail. Yes, he is. So, my brothers and sisters, so here, we discussed there were three points. First point was, whoa. Second point, fear. Third point, I'm going through. So my brothers and sisters, finally, I must acknowledge my resource because I'm not in it by myself. I got some resources. Look at the word. Uh huh. That any time you find text with tension in a text, you can back up or go forward. The Bible will explain itself. Look, go up to verse five. Or oh, say, thou prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemies. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. Then go up to verse 3. He said, He restores my soul. 
Huh? He lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. I can go up and I can go down. When you go back up, the verse 2 is saying, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He lead me beside the steel walls. Yeah, he made me, yeah, to lie down. But then again, I like this because I can go back to verse 1. Oh, y'all don't hear me here. What he says here, the Lord is my shepherd. Oh, come on here, somebody. And I shall not want. Yeah, I can go back down to verse 6 where it says, Surely, and goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And there ain't nobody in heaven can save every hand. Yes, he is. Somebody in here don't try to man and know he's all right. Yes, he is. The Lord is good to me. The Lord is my all in all. Wish I had some witness in him. And yet, Yes, my Lord. And there ain't anybody in here know that the Lord made a great difference in your life. Ain't God all right? And anybody in here can say, I try him. And he's all right. Yes, he is. Hold on. Hold on.
I was glad when he said unto me, let us come to the house of worship. Some of us struggled to get here this morning. Some of us had an argument with our spots. Some of us had an argument with our children. Some of us had pain in our bodies. But your pressure went onto the house of worship. Some of us even were thinking about some stuff that happened all week and you were debating whether to go to church or not. But you made your way to the house of worship. We offer Christ to you. Come by the blood of the woman. Now and forevermore. Let us all sing together. Oh. Oh. 